Shalom everybody. Coming, 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 Zoom is on. The Zoom link is there. Papa Apostle is putting Apostle to sleep. So I want to take this time for us to do some prayer. But at the same time, we want to understand what we are praying from, from the scripture. Hallelujah. So I will come all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I will come all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Zoom is now open, but I'm just uh, also doing it on live here. So for those, our brothers and sisters that are not there on Zoom with us, they can also be able to pray from this video. Amen. So those who want to join through Zoom, you are more than welcome. And those that want to do it through live, that is also not a problem. Hmm? I will come all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray, and what we are going to pray about tonight is just to ask God to help us to live a life by the Spirit of God. Amen? To live a life by the Spirit of God. To live a life that is spiritually felt. Hmm? To live a, a, a life a, 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 to, that that is... You, you understand what I mean? Wait. Yeah. Okay, let me do that. Mm, sure. Yeah. So, I've put the link there for all of you who want to come on Zoom, you can join. But we want God to fulfill us, to give us the power and the grace to live a life that is led by the Holy Spirit. Because us on our own, we cannot manage. Only the Holy Spirit is able to help us. So, before I start letting people in, in the Zoom meeting... The only thing I ask for is if you are going to take the link and join Zoom, I want you to mute yourself. Just mute yourself for the others and for yourself too. So when you enter, mute your, your microphones. And when we start praying, you can unmute them. Amen? And if you are here for prayer requests, please, I want to say it right here. A lot of people like to join people's prayers in assumption that they will get prayers and that's why a lot of people attend churches one place one time and they never go back again because you cannot manipulate the power and the way a prayer works you cannot attend a zoom meeting because you think oh if i go there my prayer will be answered no it doesn't matter where you are it is praying in truth and in spirit and i don't force people to switch their cameras on i only ask people to be considerate of other people when they come in the Zoom and we are all here to grow and learn. There's no prayer request. There's nothing like, oh, pray for me. I'm not God. Even me, I need God's prayers. Hmm? So tonight, we are going to read from Galatians. I want us to, to pray from scripture so that God can lead us. And this is a powerful verse. It is coming from Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. And the title is Life by the Spirit. It says... Galatians 5 uh, verse 16. So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to what the Spirit and the Spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want but if you are led by the spirit you are not under law that's up to 18 so we want to be led by the holy spirit and the reason why it's important a lot of us are going through financial problems when we see people we go direct with no shame god said his children shall not be beggars we go to people that we don't know openly please can you help me with money you don't even know how that person is making that income. You don't know where they're getting money. You're just asking, please, can you give me money? That's not how it works. Hmm? And then when you go there to ask for money, if God has led you to go and get money from somebody, they will not even interview you. They are ready to give that money. It's not theirs. They have been led by the Holy Spirit to give you that money. So according to the Holy Spirit of God, they are supposed to bless you, give you whatever it is that the Holy Spirit has led them to give. So it was never theirs. It was yours in the first place. It was just somebody holding it. And the Holy Spirit said, so it is, it's not like manipulation the way we do. It's not like lies. 
it's not like the tricks we do sister mimi can you please mute your microphone it's not like the tricks that we do it's not like the shenanigans that we do oh i will, I will pay you this and please it's led by the holy spirit one second i need to mute somebody sisters on zoom please I ask that if you are on Zoom, you mute your microphone. Sister Mimi, please mute your microphone. If you come in the Zoom group, mute your microphone because the noise is disturbing me because I have headphones so that you people can hear me and then I'm on live too. So please mute your microphone. So as I was saying, it is not led by the Holy Spirit. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, they are not going to chastise you over money. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, they are not going to put you down. Even when it comes to a, 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 a how you say it, prayer request. If the Holy Spirit has led somebody to pray for you, you don't have to ask. It is led by the Spirit of God. It maketh the man do right. That's why when you are, you are doing whatever you want, we make mistakes. But if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, you might look foolish and stupid in the sight of the ordinary man. But those who walk in the Spirit, they will understand. Because the Holy Spirit operates and works on his own the way he wants. The passcode for the meeting is 587100. 587100. And you don't need to put the password. My Zoom is just, I just have to let you in. So please, we have to learn to be led by the Holy Spirit. Whether it is going to talk about our marriages, our families, our, oh my God. Sister Grace. Sister Grace. One second, let me mute Sister Grace. Let me mute her. Sister Grace, Sister Grace, Sister Grace, can you please mute yourself, Mama? Can you please mute yourself? This is so selfish and rude. You are here in the Zoom group. You are in prayer. Your child is speaking. It's so loud, your environment. Can you please mute your microphone in the name of Jesus? This is why I don't like to do Zoom. Because the devil brings people to tempt you. Me, if I open my house to you strangers to make it an altar for God. If I make my own husband sit far away with my children there and tell them to give me peace and help me to understand that I'm in the presence of God. Why should the people that I'm inviting in my own house come with their noise and shenanigans and rubbish? Me, when I can control my own in my own house. It's a lie. Children is another thing. But you grown-ups... You come here, mute your microphone. Can't you hear that noise? Don't you know that Zoom has microphone? You see how the devil does never want us to do it. When you are led by the Holy Spirit, I enter a certain way in the presence of God. Sister Grace, mute your microphone. And even when somebody is talking, that the noise is still happening. Women, we have no respect. But if it was papas, Mm, I know my sisters. If it was a man, you go come right. You just want to leave here feeling satisfied. She was angry at me. What kind of woman of God is that? God help us. He knows who we are. He knows you and he knows me. Thank you, Jesus. The code, my sister, is 587100. 587100. So sorry, as we can continue. I have to to do this because I want to also leave this on live. I just don't want to do it in private on Zoom because some people don't have Zoom and they don't know how to get into Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I want this online so that somebody else, even months, years later on, they'll still locate this video and see it. So I'm confused. The noise was too much. You have no idea. I've got headphones here and I have to concentrate on you people. 587100 but you don't need the password for my zoom i just have to let you in you don't have to type the password if you click on the link it will bring you here straight and then i just have to let you in and sharon will take over when she comes in so as i was saying 
it is very important to be led by the Holy Spirit. Even when we go to talk to people about marriage, if you talk to somebody about marriage who puts your marriage business out here with no respect, with no love, with no compassion, who exposes your life, it is because the Holy Spirit didn't lead you. Because the Holy Spirit does not lead us to wicked people. He protects us from them. Even when the wicked person has bad intention, when you are led by the Holy Spirit, give somebody money. If that person, for example, Sister Mimi or Sister Sharon, wants to take that money to a shrine, to a witch doctor, or to go and make an evil covenant and oath against you, the Lord is going to protect you because you were led by the Holy Spirit to give that person money. You understand? But if you are just going to do things the way you want, this is how we are giving our own destinies and lives to marine kingdoms, idol gods, false gods, things we don't know about. When they say anointing oil, hey, all of us we are anointing oil. When they say hey, hey, white water, hey, all of us we are pure water. When they say oh, oh, holy hey, gas, hey, everybody we are, we are on, on holy gas. When they say everybody use oil, hey, everybody is on oil. Which does not even make sense when the Bible tells us that we are supposed to test the spirit and we are all supposed to learn to know how to save God in truth and in spirit on our own. And we are supposed to be led by the holy spirit even when you go to church when your spiritual father says oh i need you to do this before you do it you are supposed to get confirmation and you are supposed to also be led by the holy spirit because remember god is not a god of confusion otherwise mary would have refused to have the child and uh, joseph would have refused to be the father of Jesus Christ. But God is a good God. Even if he created us, he owns us. He does not just lay things forcefully on us. He leads us. He, 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 he speaks to us. He assures us. He lets us know what we need to know and what we don't need to know. So tonight we are going to pray. According to this Bible verse, we need to be led by the Holy Spirit. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, you also do good. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, gossip starts to feel bad. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, slander starts to feel bad if you are led by the holy spirit even flirting me i know one thing i was the type of woman i never used to flirt but when i see a guy that i love i don't know how many women can confirm to this when you start to feel like your body is starting to to break small small like your body they become skeletora you understand skeletora like that you're starting to feel like a mumu when you see a man oh okay, wow you know these things we make on our faces it's intentional mm. when you are led by the holy spirit even when the devil wants you to start seducing, starting to flirt or do something that is not right, the Holy Spirit who leads you is going to stop you. Me, I hear the Holy Spirit. Even when the thought is in my head, I'm telling you the point where I am in my life. God rebukes me and he, he tells me, oh, no, 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 no. He chastises me, he corrects me, and he leads me through the right way. So each and every one of us I sh should be able to be led by the Holy Spirit. The reason why the house of the Lord is looking like there's a lot of a discouragement, a lot of, how you say it, a lot of confusion, a lot of wrong business, a lot of different gods when there's only one true living sovereign lord and god the creator of heaven and earth the alpha and omega the reason why it looks like there are a lot of hosannas out here is because we are not led by the holy spirit even me that's why i don't do zoom this zoom today the holy spirit chastised me told me if you don't start zoom ada and i know when the lord say ada me i can i, I can confess i am not easily moved i am not easily moved if my sister for example has a problem with one of her friends and me i don't have a problem i will not join into the fight no matter how much i love my sister i will not allow the other woman to hate my sister but i will not join my sister to hate the other woman just because she's my blood sister and because it will show my loyalty and love it's a lie so we are supposed to be led by the holy spirit the reason why we are we are mixed up a lot of us we even go to prayer meeting that's why if you come for this zoom there's no prayer request. There's all praying to God. Whatever you need, God already knows it even before you speak it. The Bible says, I know you just like at the palm of my hands. Before you speak, I hear you. When you, when you ask, I already answer. That's what the scripture says. So we are supposed to be led by the Holy Spirit. Even if you're a woman, even if you're, the, the spiritual mother is, a, is a, 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 a woman, not a man. Women shouldn't be gullible. They should test the spirit. They should be led by the Holy Spirit. Not the Holy Spirit said give 1,005. You could just give. 
Me, I'm telling you, when you come to me, you really have to be led by the Holy Spirit. I've got people that have had to delete Facebook accounts because they thought they could try me. And if you say the Holy Spirit led me to you, I will look for you until you can say what the Holy Spirit told you. And if you know that it's a lie and you release words of the Holy Spirit that he has not spoken. Ah, now, big heavy case. Jesus is preparing a big safe fire for people who have been saying, the, the Spirit of the Lord says we should all give 1,000 euro tithe. The Spirit of the Lord says we should all take our underwears off, spread our legs, and make sure that all the women are, are spreading yash, right? The spirit, of, what, the spirit of the Lord is just saying things that are contrary to what God stands for. We have to test the Spirit. We have to live a spiritual life. We have to be led by the Holy Spirit. He's your confidant. He's your friend. Before you do anything, he speaks to you. He's supposed to speak to your conscience. That you even know yourself that you are wrong. Which Holy Spirit do you have when you are led to still be putting it to, 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 to be living in sin? We are mixed up. We are mixed up and the name of God is looking like we don't know. That's why it looks like there's a lot of confusion in the body of Christ. Because there are a lot of followers, especially us women, a lot of gullible people that do not. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Even a fool, a fool can say this is not of God. But a whole human being who has tested the presence and the spirit of God is still food. Still staying on a place where there is no consuming fire of God. The Holy Spirit leads you. If the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you, I'm telling you, you will panic. You will panic. You will think God is contradicting himself. Imagine the Holy Spirit tells you you are going to go to Nigeria. And then the devil sends another evil spirit to say, Holy Spirit has sent me to say, don't go to Nigeria. They will kill you. Eh? Which of the two voices will you believe? I decided to go to Nigeria. The devil wanted to make it look like God was contradicting himself. He fight me in take, making my God look like my God was lying. But I know that God never lies. I cried that night. I asked God, I said, where are you? But when I arrived in, in, in a Nigeria and what I did in Nigeria, it makes me understand why I'm there. The Holy Spirit was leading me. So everything has to be laid. Everything, Holy Spirit has to lead you. If you are not, if the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you, imagine your husband getting out of the house around 10, 11 o'clock in the night to come and pick you at the airport in your country. And then they say, eh, eh, you are not drop your plane is not dropping in Holland. It's dropping in Belgium. If the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you, you would find divorce problems. Men will start complaining because you did not do what the Holy Spirit told you. You compromised your marriage. You get on a plane and to go and do what? For what? But if the Holy Spirit leads you, see how man they drive two hours just to, to I know that somehow in his own na, na, na man, if na man, the way the man be, I think was just thinking, I want her to reach home tonight. I go hold her, I go squeeze her tight. Sister Williams, Sister Christine Williams, the Zoom link is on the comments here. If you want to join Zoom, I'm also live on Zoom. I'm also open. Sister Williams, Sister Christine, my fellow David wife. If you want to join Zoom, you have to follow that link. Imagine, this is why marriages are broken up. Not a lot of women are not leading by the Holy Spirit. Getting involved in deals that finish all your money. If the Holy Spirit leads you to do something, the money might finish. The love and the marriage will be intact. If Holy Spirit does not lead you, look at how many women are crying. Even when marrying, the damn nonsense of equally yoked. I want to tell you sisters who are saved by the blood of Jesus. There is nothing special about you. By the grace of God, we are all saved. Don't look at people of the world like nothing. Some of you women have no shame. He's not equally yoked. He's not equally yoked. That's why I cannot marry him. He's not equally yoked. The Lord is looking at you. You have never even been half yoked. But you want to look for somebody equally yoked. He put his hand down because he keeps playing with my neck. He doesn't Come, baby. Him. Let me help Papa Rukafera. Apostle is a, is a strong man. Wait, give me one minute. Make sure that this hand is just down if possible. Apostle, baby, you have to speak with your voice, no, my voice. No, no. You know, Apostle doesn't have any nothing for me because this thing of Holy Spirit has taken him all the way left. 
everything that I need to get done in this house, I have to call Papa Roka Feda, even with food. When Papa Roka Feda says, hey, Papa Roka Feda, I'm supposed to behave. It's like comrade. He become commander. Mm -mm. Anyway, wait, I'm putting wrong headphones. So, a lot of women have, ah, we are not equally yoked. I was so disappointed when I hear the way women measure equally yoked. I said, you know, the way we measure equally yoked is not the same way that God measures equally yoked. It's wrong. Can you people hear me? It's wrong. Those of you on Zoom, can you hear me? Somebody just shake your head if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay. It's wrong. We are not equally yoked. People are going to a man who hears the Holy Spirit to tell them who to marry. Why not you yourself being told what to do? I met my husband when I was in the world. So equally yoked. Who is to talk, to talk equally yoked in this marriage? I smoke Indian hip. I drink alcohol. I was not a virgin. I was not a fresh from the farm. So equally yoked to Papa Rokafeda, what is he going to equally yoked to sisters? Equally yoked, I'm a virgin. Equally yoked, my toto is still tight. Tight like rubber that you need me to open it. To pierce through it. But we forget where we are coming from. When the Holy Spirit leads you, it doesn't bring confusion in your house. It doesn't bring disorder in your home. Sister Purity, you can just click on the link there. If you click on the link that I've posted, let me put the link in the comments. I'm going to tag the link and pin it so that Sister, Sister Beverly, I'm going to answer on you. Anybody who wants to join Zoom, you are welcome. We are going to pray for 20 to 30 minutes at the end. But I want us to understand why it's important to be led by the Holy Spirit. The reason why it's important it's because, look, a lot of women, how can the same Holy Spirit who gave you that man before you were saved start chastising you that the man is not equally yoked? Doesn't have the Holy Spirit, doesn't the Holy Spirit lead you to start winning that man? The Holy Spirit in you starts winning. Hmm? He starts winning your husband through your ways as a daughter of God. Daughters of God who are always talking about the Holy Spirit led them. The most dangerous lifestyle. A lot of you women, even when a man of God tells you, you never bring it before God. Even when a woman of God tells you anything, you never bring it before God. Straight away, somebody been taught, your husband is cheating. Yeah? Sister Mercy doesn't even have a, a, evidence that her husband is cheating. Sister Mercy has already packed bags. And sister Messi is Kenya. She go. Musagara musumuno wako. Ha chagara. And you know Kenyan women they kiku you they beat man. Kiku you they are warriors. If the Lord can use that temper, they flog Kenyan man to flog demons. Demons will not have any problems with would not try with us, the children of the Lord. Because you know the kiku you man, they knock you out eh? and they need to knock some of these men out. Because some demons you cannot cast them out spiritually. You need to slap the demon out of somebody but so that the demon can jump out and leave the body. Glory be to God. So as I was saying. Sister Mercy does not have evidence. The Holy Spirit did not speak. But because somebody who says Jesus, Jesus, which the Bible says not everybody that says Jesus, Jesus shall enter the kingdom of God. But Sister Mercy just had I said, I laugh, they they be stuck. Some of these things, they laugh, they be stuck. Sometimes I be talking to God. I said, if you take Ukwa, Mr. Ib, Parara, you know Parara, the comedian, they can interpret these tongues in pigeon English because Parara understand it very well. They bring it in comedy very well. Because Sister Messi had Sister Messi went to tell her husband, you are cheating. Men who are not cheating are really looking at their wives like, come on. The Holy Spirit can't lie to me. The Holy Spirit who never visited Sister Mess, who never said anything, she heard it from somebody who is a drama demon of hell. She's ruining our, our, her own home. Hmm? Women wake up in the morning. 
It's when women are so, um, oh, I hear from the Holy Spirit. The, the most liars women have heard. That's why I don't want to be like that. God, please save me. Is the When women are hearing from the Holy Spirit, the funny thing is they never hear things about their selves. They are always hearing things about other people. Always hearing things about other people. The God I save. I don't even mind. And let me tell you, me, I'm not the type. Don't come be friendly. Ask Mwone, ask Sister Sharon. Me, I, I, you think I'm a savage. And yes, so Indian help that I used to smoke, it left damage, but by the grace, it, the Lord is cleaning the brain. I don't do that. People think I'm aggressive. Even when you call me on the phone, hello, the way I answer hello, is like we're in a fight. That's what some people say. Yes. Why are we talking if there is nothing that has been laid? There's good talking, but talking, talking is the reason why some people have lost, lost their life. Hmm? The women that I hear, you know, I heard the Holy Spirit told me I have to leave my husband. They be between Penengua and Morocco and Morocco and Asia and uh, Bangladesh in one hour area. And those places cannot be in one hour area. It will, be no, it will not even make sense. Most women who do that, they don't even look normal to me. I never make fun of mental illness, but this time I will use it to edify. Most women who talk about the Holy Spirit told me I should leave my husband, they look like psychiatric people that need help. Yes, so. Somebody who does not look normal, looking at somebody who normal, and telling them the Holy Spirit told them that they should leave their marriage. The Holy Spirit told them to leave their marriage. And then after a while I said, so if the Holy Spirit told you to leave your marriage, how come the divorce is not finalized? When God says the two people will not be together, you know that God separates with peace and he leaves things apart. Eh? Because he doesn't force. Just like grace, receiving him. He doesn't force. He's not free, you receive him. Not freely, willingly, you receive him. Eh? But they leave their homes to go and stay somewhere else still legally married and still saying they are praying for their, for their husband so that the demon that they left shall come out of their body when the demon leave they will go back to their marriage idiot <laughs> you left the you left your husband <laughs> with a <the> demon <laughs> The Bible says, love your neighbors, you love yourself. You love your husband, you left him with a demon. <laughs> then you don't know what Sarah is. Because Sarah was a peaceful woman, gentle and everything. But when Sarah said, Hagar carried the go, that's a woman, as we are coming from the promise. Sarah gave birth, eh, 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 Hagar gave birth ordinary. As we were a promise, we were meant to come. Like that voice in the wilderness. We meant to calm the chosen generation. And that's just the truth. How can a woman be a chosen generation? Too many of us, I am tired of phone calls. Grrr. Hello, sister Ada. If it's marriage. You know, me, I'm very childish. I like comedy. Because 50% I be comedy. But people be calling me. <sighs> My husband. In the night, he cannot perform. <sighs> Me and I started to laugh at myself. I said, God of Abraham, before I sin, let me just let this gas out and go come out. The husband doesn't perform well. The Holy Spirit led you to go and speak like that and words that we use. If the Holy Spirit is speaking out of your mouth, me, I cannot read and write. It's not a joke. I don't even know how to tell time on the wall. Everything that come out of my mouth, the Lord gives me script. But everything, the Holy Spirit has to lead like this because the Lord knows that Ada has one first eye, uh, one slow and fast eye. They cannot cooperate and conjunction together when they are reading. They fight each other, but by the grace of the Lord, they can function. Huh? But look how people, people are sitting in, in situations where they say the Holy Spirit led them. But the things of God contradict to what you are standing in. 
And that's why we have a lot of different gods now. That's why it, when they see Mwoni preaching, they tell Mwoni, oh, you, you are insulting, you are abusive. Because the Christianity of these days is not led by the Holy Spirit. It's led by a friend. And a lot of pastors, I'm telling you, they feel like they love you so much. That's why they don't give you an opportunity to grow on your own. They want to pamper you. And when they deliver message, they deliver message that smooth you people. When you come from church and you are feeling, oh, I am good, I'm okay. With no question mark from the Holy Spirit about something that you need to work on and change. Something is not right. Something is not right. You are going to church. You are led by the Holy Spirit. This excuse, women are doing fornication, adultery, sleeping with a married man. You ask him, what happened? You know, the Holy Spirit led me to pray for this man. The Holy Spirit will never lead me to a man where I would take my underwear off and sleep with him to ruin my marriage. It's a lie. Is a lie. Is a lie. Which Holy Spirit? Your Holy Spirit of your your lie. Whatever, don't we call it Holy Spirit. Let's call it Water Spirit. This Water Spirit is confusing people. Is confusing people. People saying, ah, "I'm not lying." If you are going to go somewhere where the Holy Spirit sent you, I'm going to give a very broad example here. Even. When you see this, please, is example, I want to make it broad. Mrs. Jadea, wife of Eben, I use you people because you are my brother and sister in Christ. But if God would send me to Nigeria, and then me and Eben go and naka naka each other, did the Holy Spirit send me there? It's a lie. The Holy Spirit will protect me. Elijah, a lot of people say Elijah is a coward when he ran away from Jezebel. Uh-uh. It was wisdom and preservation. And which Christians need to know to be led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will tell you your limit. A lot of us are not moving with the Holy Spirit. So we, we, we pass our limit. Elijah Jezebel was the limit. That's why the man who disappeared never died. Did they carry the go? Left. Man who makes sense stop, they turn around, carry the go. Me, that lets me know. I told myself, I said, Jesus, please, if this demon you say is not my type to, to stand here by wisdom, you say I should carry the go. I am carrying the go. The Holy Spirit leads you. People are casting demons out. Who led you to go and cast demons out? And you know, a lot of these women who are looking like they are mentally disturbed, they were casting out a lot of demons. That the demons, they are now 10,000 on the left. 9,000 on the other side, 15,000 on the back here, 35,000 on the front here. How can the person ever hear the Holy Spirit and even have identity? Hmm? Holy Spirit said, wash your, your vagina with salt. Hmm? They're in the salt. Somebody came to my group. They said the Holy Spirit told them to wash their vagina with salt. And they said they started to bleed. I said, oh, <laughs> now Holy Spirit that they be accusing you. Somebody will drink. People be eating glass. You are hungry? I've got food for you. The Spirit of the Lord says, go outside and eat grass. You know, be in South Africa where they were eating grass. Really, are we having a generation that is not spiritually felt? What I've realized, even when I go to big churches, it scares me. Because me, I'm standing there. And everything is blacked out in the physics. It's just spiritual. And I embarrass people, especially those people who think they are hiding well, well. Me, I love it. And they be sitting together with God. I said, Father, instead of gossiping with human beings, make I tell you, so that pastor, she was thinking that she's so clever that that demon was hiding. I start to laugh with Holy Spirit, laughing at demons. Not moving by the Holy Spirit. Not being led by the Holy Spirit. And it's better to say the truth that you have not received the Holy Spirit or you have not felt it or you don't even know about it. Instead of these days, anybody said they hear from the Spirit. Which Spirit? Which Spirit? I saw a video to them one. I'm telling you, I'll send it to you, woman of God. Apostle, this video it was a big video. Jesus said to flog some Kenyans. Sister means Kenyan needs to be flogged. They were batting women at church at the altar. And women were sitting in a dish. 
Can you imagine at this our age? Just <laughs> Father, you need to come on. I am tired of the thing that I will say sometimes. Can you imagine at this our age? Even a post of one is too old to sit in a, in a bucket. But I saw it. They were seated in a bucket. Because the Spirit of the Lord laid to the man that he should pray for them and wash them at the altar. My sisters. Eh? If you are of God, you are not supposed to accept things anyhow. You are, they should call you stubborn. It's okay because you know who you are in Christ. Me people don't like it when they tell me, ah, the Lord told me that I should tell you. That you are better than I say, which God did tell you that? Because they've been waiting here. The God of Abraham did not tell me. I was not expecting you. You know, it's not a God of confusion. I don't want to be anyhow. The Holy Spirit is leading me now. Now I'm speaking out of my mouth. He's speaking the language you can hear. It's not in tongues. So, which Holy Spirit? And then they get vexed. You are stubborn. Moses was too aggressive. That's why he almost missed the kingdom of heaven. Guilt, intimidation, they come in. I just say in the phone, I say, ah. Now you, I refuse to listen from. Now God, I say, I refuse. Yeah, but God sent me. God works through people. I said the same way God works through you. He works through me. And I have the same right to refuse you. Because man's heart is deceitful. In five minutes, he's holy. In two minutes, he's filthy. So what is wrong if I refuse what you have come to tell me? But look at these days. If anybody receives phone from somebody from online about their life, the Holy Spirit told me, that you need to put some onion under the bed, cut four uh, cloves of garlic, and make sure that you spread it on your toto. I want to say it in jokes because there's nothing I have that these people can tell you which sense. So let's laugh at the truth. I want you to make sure that you take garlic, you put garlic inside your vagina. Mm. Now how long that vagina goes stink like uh, like uh, <laughs> like shawarma? Yeah. Now how long it goes stink like shawarma? Because mm, garlic, they use it for shawarma. How long it was take like shawarma shank? <laughs> Good of Abraham. It can't be. I'm tired. People think I'm aggressive here because people are not led by the Holy Spirit. Even when you come to me, I don't want when somebody calls me, sister, Ada, my husband, this, I said, please, before you start talking, do you feel, do you think, or do you know exactly that the Lord, the Holy Spirit of God sent you here to come to me? Which of the, the three? You know, they always start. The first one is, the Spirit of the Lord told me I should call you. Maybe you can help me. I said, so you are definite. So how can, if the Spirit of the Lord sent you that I can help you to pray for you, to do this for you. How come the Lord just didn't tell you direct? Because if he can tell you to come to me, you know, be just that you do the message direct. And then they change. They say, you know, I think... It's because I dreamt about you three, four days ago in my dream. I said, ah, thinking is no good. Though. There is a way that leads, uh, there is a way that cement right to man, but leads to destruction and death. Even me, I can think is okay right now to begin to cast demon out of you. That demon go jump out of the phone, want to enter my house and start climbing Paparo Cafe. I don't share Paparo Cafe. Oh, the man break back where well, well. we break back where well, well. Then they go say, yeah, you know, if you're a real daughter of God, why can't you just pray? And that's where the Spirit of God is important to be laid. Because the devil asked Jesus, why can't you turn this bread? Why can't you turn this stone into bread? So why shouldn't I ask you? If T.D. Jesus is the one who called me today, Biko, Namibia, the full of Jesus, he surprised the devil for how I be full of the faith and the Spirit of the Lord. I go ask them first, investigation, interview and then also i'll consult holy spirit so mama yes baby he's sleeping really? turn around let me see no his eyes are still open so sisters tonight we are going to pray forgive papa rocafer and his son he's on his back he's putting him to sleep with the shared duties woman carry belly man carry your child on the back brothers Come out here, use your manpower, not just using it to break our back. Carry your own children on the back too. That's very good exercise for your six-pack. Mm? Praise the Lord. So sisters, 
Tonight we are going to pray. If you have never felt the Holy Spirit, you have never received the Holy Spirit. You don't have to fake it. He will come for real and dwell in you if you make yourself available. Muone knows. The time I met you, we were all faking Holy Spirit. Remember? People doing shenanigans, magician tricks. Egg matches, everything left, right, center. As we were just there, not knowing that they are just mumuing us. But now to have the Holy Spirit of God, I am aggressive to see somebody come and say something which the Holy Spirit is not speaking. And when people are not from God, it's almost like a personal anger. My whole flesh, my whole soul, my whole being just gets up and wants to scratch the devil out. That's how everything in me disagrees. The same way as when the Lord is the one speaking to me. It doesn't matter who the person is. I never have to meet them. I listen. You understand? We need the Holy Spirit. We need to be led by the Holy Spirit. We need to hear from God direct. We need to stop faking it. We are big churches. Do you? How would you feel if God came today and you found out that most of these big churches with big names and big names, none of them, God knows them. Then which spirit was leading them? Hmm? Churches where they're just encouraging you to, 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 to want prosperity for money. God is more than what money can give. Why don't we want God the same way the spiritual father has found God? Why don't we want to hear from him on our own? Why? What have we done not to do to get that opportunity? We are his children too. Now the devil has made us false witnesses. Because everywhere you said, oh, I bless that man of God. And you acknowledge God in something that had no God and was not of God and is not godly. You are a false witness and a liar. Am I lying, Apostle Mon? First witness, liar. Kuti Jezebel come to preach at the altar. First witness. And that's why a lot of women, we can even go half naked at the altar because we don't have Holy Spirit in us. The Holy Spirit leads you. Let me tell you, me these days, I'm not the type who like to wear a bra. I will confess, I'm like a sorrow. So people, eh? welcome to natural, nature. Fear free, wonder free maid. We breastfeed too much. Three men. You understand how hormone balance it, baby. Hello? But these days, the Holy Spirit tells me, if you're not going to put bra, make sure you cover that your breast don't take any attention. And only the Holy Spirit sat me down. He said, not for you alone, but for somebody else. And you might distract them. You might lead them wrong. How can the Holy Spirit lead you? When the brothers come near you, they are all faking Holy Spirit because all they want is your perfume and all they can smell is your breast. They are this high and your nyash is so tight. Ah, they are just looking at Sister Miss. The brothers are not even thinking, Holy Jesus. They are just thinking. They are just thinking of Nag. They already come. They orgasm. You give money and the, the man of God lied and stole your money. It's not the Holy Spirit who led you. You went there on your own. Rebuke the spirit that sent you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus, I am begging all of you. Tonight, we are going to pray. You, if you want to unmute your microphone, unmute your microphone. If you don't want to unmute your microphone, remain muted. But we are all just going to pray general here. We are going to ask God, good God, the same way the Spirit lived and dwelt in Abraham and spoke out of Abraham's mouth, out of Moses' mouth, out of Job's mouth, out of Sarah's mouth, out of Mordecai's mouth, out of Sarah's mouth, the same Spirit that was leading them, even me, I want it, Lord. Because if you were not leading them, they would have gone wrong and if everything would have contradicted itself. But you, God, when you are leading somebody, actually it doesn't even make sense to the people who are not spiritual. But the Spirit is leading you. The Holy Spirit is leading you. We don't want to die like the young prophet in First Kings. 
instead of obeying the Holy Spirit. He met another prophet who is older than him. It doesn't matter. Even Pastor Chris or T.D. Jakes, if they come today and they speak over your life, don't get excited. Just, I receive. I receive. Amen. Amen. No. No. What you are receiving? Now you have received. Your marriage is having problems. Now you have received. You have received the spirit of fornication and adultery in your home and your family. Now your husband, who is not a cheater, he started to cheat. I receive, I receive. What you are receiving? And where do you receive? You Even from me, you will never receive anything. We all receive from God. It is God who giveth. Man will never make us receive anything. Not even Pastor Chris. Not even the biggest pastors you love. They will never give nothing. So what are you receiving? Impartation, impartation. Impartation has been done already. It is resurrection you need. To wake up from the darkness and the lies that the devil is making you walk in. You don't need, you don't need impartation. What are they imparting? Now everybody, instead of the gospel being about salvation and in truth and in spirit, that God fix all your problems. I saw Reverend Rosie Natasha last week. The video she was talking about seed for firstborn. I said, God in heaven <laughs> They were calling it breakthrough, firstborn seed. My sisters, come here, let me tell you. God does not bless your children because it's the firstborn, the secondborn, or the lastborn. Joshua was not the firstborn. But he carried the wealth, the blessings of a first son. Hello? And a lot of you women who are not led by the Holy Spirit... You are going to give seed for a firstborn. They are taking that money. It's coming from your sweat, your hard work. It's connected to you. So people think giving money is just a trick. Money is connected to your spirituality deeper than you think. So they collect that money and that firstborn's name. They go and lay it at the shrine. And they take the authority and power from who? Who give them the power and the authority? You, the mother, isn't it? Firstborn. So seed of firstborn. Tell me what seed Abraham sold to God for his firstborn. These days, the gospel of anointing oil, firstborn. How to be... Ro These days in church, they are teaching how to be romantic with your husband. Do you know that the Holy Spirit makes your bedroom... He doesn't devour your bedroom, but he makes your sex life and your bedroom on fire like nobody's business. Do you know that God can fix your sex life? The Holy Spirit can fix your sex life between you and your partner like nobody's business. If you focus, concentrate, devote yourself to God and obey the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will lead you to bedroom, which will break your back. You will come, you'll be happy, and you'll have joy. So why just... Wanting God for one thing when you, you can be late the whole package. Eh? Come on, my sisters. In the name of Jesus, we are going to begin to pray. And we are going to ask God, Kuti Father, please help me. And if you have been faking it, tell the Lord, forgive me, Lord, for faking that I hate any spirit. And every time I've accused the Holy Spirit, for not being there and I'm putting him there forgive me Lord for every firstborn seed everything that I've seen with all the pastors because if God comes to flash God will flash Lucy Natasha I already spoke the prophets so Lucy Natasha has her own grave to dig and her own mess and judgment but you people who are following what she says the Holy Spirit says this the Holy Spirit says that what will you say to God and let me tell you, that's why I tell Sharon, no matter how close we are, I will never tell God, oh, Lord, this is Sharon, my favorite sister, my love sister. I know her. She used to give tithe. She used to be so sweet. And she used to be natural. Nobody will speak for you. 
So why? They will never speak for you here on earth. What makes you think they'll speak for you in heaven? You tell them what you want to be prayed for about. The Holy Spirit knows even the things you cannot pray in words about. Doesn't it make sense that you will go for the Holy Spirit? And if we start today and give God in truth and in spirit, you will see it. You don't even have to count time. It will be going before you know it. You're like, two years. How did I reach this far? When did even the Holy Spirit come up? Instead of faking the Holy Spirit, he will, he will come up upon you and you don't even have to fake it in truth and in spirit. Because God is faithful and God is good. So before we begin to pray, Sister Tina, your hand is up. Do you have a question or you have something to say before we start to pray? Sister Tina, I saw a hand up. Sister Tina, is she there? I don't see her anymore. One second. Sister Tina. No, I think she's disappeared. And I want you people not to keep quiet when we start praying. I just don't want to sound rude, but I just want you people to know that just like we have come here as human beings, there are also monitoring spirits that come here. If you are coming to this Zoom and join and you are coming to pray, hey, if you are coming to play jokes, you will correct spiritual warfare and bring it into your home. So make sure that you are vigilant and prayerful. Because demons, they love it right now. Zoom is where I get to see a lot of manifestation in human beings. Hey? So please, I beg you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be vigilant and prayerful. Amen? Sister Esther, do you have uh, a question before we start praying? Shalom, sis. Shalom. Amen. Okay. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Amen. So you are seeing the mind of God. Amen. And that is where the mention of uh, the Spirit of God helping us to do all things. Amen. If we men of this generation Amen. we depend totally Hallelujah. on God Hallelujah. and on the Spirit of God, Amen. there will be less uh, problems in, Amen. in people's homes and Hallelujah. marriages. Hallelujah. And there will be less uh, confusion and problems in the life of especially ladies. Amen. Ladies of this generation are going through a lot. Hallelujah. A lot of problems. A lot Amen. of problems. That even myself until I discovered that it is all about God in this life, especially Amen. when you are now a born again Christian. Amen. You you depend on God hundred percent totally. I'm telling you, there's no uh, there's nobody anywhere that can solve your problem for you. Hallelujah. Like you mentioned, no pastor Hallelujah. anywhere can solve your problem for you except you depend in my God is our father that always wants to see us depending on him hundred percent. Hallelujah. Just as parents are to their kids, that's Amen. how God is to us. Amen. So he, he doesn't want us to feel that we can do it because flesh and our own wisdom will fill us. Hallelujah. It will be by the spirit.
spirit of God, by the wisdom of God, by the power of God, that we can do things. Amen. That we can do things and we can get solution to our problems. Amen. And there are so many things that we go through that God is training us for. Women Amen. of this generation do not want to go through training. Amen. They just want things to happen. Amen. They don't want to go through that uh, group brokenness. They don't want to go through they don't want to go through that training that God is trying to give Preach. to make you stronger, to make you a woman of God, to make you to be filled with the power and the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. If you don't build everything inside of you to God, there's no how God can speak to you. Hallelujah. Because our Lord Jesus is our example, our Amen. forerunner. Amen. Jesus said, I have not come here to do my own will, but the will of my Father. Amen. As many that will not yield to God Amen. to help them, to break them, to mold them, to lift them, to Hallelujah. direct them, Hallelujah. there can be solution to anything. Amen. Our marriages, our, to raise up our kids, Amen. to be a good wife, to be a good mother, to Hallelujah. be a sister, to be a godly woman, just like this sister Rachel. Amen. To be a blessing to so many lives. Amen. You don't know what people, you, you see Sister Rachel coming out to give this. You don't know the sacrifice that is going on behind. Hallelujah. You don't know the sacrifice. Amen. As many women that we yield to God and allow God to break them in their closet, in their private life. They will come out like this, being a blessing. That's what God wants. Hallelujah. He wants us to affect our, ourselves Hallelujah. to the glory of his name so that at the end of the day, we can see Jesus. Amen. I pray that God will help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Sister Esther, you know, I love God. When you started speaking, the Holy Spirit said, remove the headphones. So they can also hear on Facebook because God, just like you see, she also has the Holy Spirit from the way she speaks. She does not speak from her own wisdom, no understanding. She speaks as a woman who carries the Spirit of God. You understand, my sisters? You see, and she made one valid important point that I didn't even say. God, the Holy Spirit will lead you. In every aspect and direction of your life, when you get in an argument with your husband, how to speak to him, how to fix all those problems, when you're having financial difficulties, when you're having sex problems, God knows all our problems. So there's nothing that the Holy Spirit will not help us. So it's not just being led by the Holy Spirit. It is also being our helper. He also guides us and gives us wisdom and knowledge. Even when people, our family members are not getting along, Holy Spirit will give you a way to bring your family together in a way that nobody can ever do. And when the Holy Spirit leads you, it's already facilitated. It's a root and a way that never fails because it's coming directly from the mouth of the Father. Amen? So, before we start praying, I see another person. Sisters, I don't know if it's question or contribution. Let's make it one minute, one minute each so that we can start praying. Eh? So, one second. I think there are two hands. I see that sister, sister Elizabeth, you can go first. And then after sister Elizabeth, uh, there is also, yeah, only sister Elizabeth. Sister Elizabeth, you can ask or contribute what you want to say. Sister Elizabeth. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Um, greetings in the name of Jesus. Shalom. I just want to say this is my first time talking to you. I always watch you, love, hear you sing and everything. Amen. So I just want to shout out just to say God continue to bless you and keep up the good work you're doing. Glory be to God. Shalom, my. Thank you so much. Okay. Sister Elizabeth was the only hand I see there. So we are going to begin to pray. But before we begin to pray, I just want to, to show you people something. If all of you are able to open your chat, your messages, if all of you are able to, Sister Severina Kaniriku, 
My sister, you have you don't have the spirit of pityness. You have been diagnosed wrong. The spirit you are suffering from is self pity. Bitterness is another issue, but the spirit you are suffering from is self pity. You attract the wrong attention. You are in the presence of God. You don't need to ask none of us to pray for you. And a lot of you are in this chat. I want you to learn from this behavior. This is what happens. People come to Zoom and ask for prayers. Most of the times, it's demons themselves asking you where they want to carry you. If all of us are here for God, nobody should feel like God will not hear them. If God is going to hear that 17-year-old pray, us grown up, we should actually have more knowledge and wisdom with the experience of the years that we have lived. You understand what I mean? Because when you start that behavior, look at in the chat now. It becomes a pity party. This is not how God saved. God, we, we pray on our own. Even Jesus. Jesus did not ask the disciples. He did not ask the disciples to wake up in the night and pray for him. He prayed for himself. So sister Suzuri as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. I beg you. I want people to not get it twisted. If you watch me on Facebook. I am not a celebrity. I am not an influencer. I don't want to receive any honor and glory here. I want all of us to know that we are equal and the same. I am not standing a middleman for nobody. I am a sinner like you. It is the same blood that was shedded on the Calvary that gives both of us grace. So I will not mumu you. We are all here for us and God is for us all. So when you go to meeting prayers, be very careful. Self-pity. Sister Kaniru, you have a big spirit of self-pity. You love it, actually, when I see you and I look you right now in the eye. You love it. You encourage yourself, feeling sad for yourself. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. Just the way you wrote the comment, I hear that spirit. And it con people so bad because it's playing with you. You don't need nobody to hear your story. And you better stop talking now. You better keep your mouth quiet. Stop talking to people. And I mean direct, not stop talking now. Stop opening up anyhow. Stop talking your life like it's, it's a movie. God has blessed you so much. The devil is playing with you. It's not bitterness. Bitterness comes in if you have not gotten your way. But it's self-pity that is carrying you right now. I see you. You are so... You know what self-pity is, my sister, eh? Yes. You have a problem of self-pity. Self-pity is a very dangerous spirit and demon because I suffered it. I suffered with that spirit for a long time. And he drained me. That's why the Lord says only God understands tears. It's okay to cry if you understand what you're crying about. But to just sit down anyhow and start pity partying to cry is an evil spirit. My sister, you need deliverance big time. And nobody can deliver you. You have to go to God on your own. And you even know what you need to work on yourself. You know it. We all know what we need to work on. Everything that is broken physically is also spiritually broken. So we shouldn't be asking, oh, what is wrong with me? We know. We just have to be truthful. But don't hug this spirit of self-pity. It's a dangerous spirit. It will kill you. It will drive you mentally mad. Not spiritually, mentally, physically mad. Because all you think about is how everything has been unfair to you. If Joseph had allowed the spirit of self-pity, he would, have never pre he would have never prevailed. Do you remember the story of Joseph? Of a, a, a Joshua, I mean. He was sold by his brothers. Not even one day did Joseph pity. Moses, they drop him on the water. Every story of ours comes with pain, but that pain shouldn't tend to self-pity. Because when it turns into self-pity, there's no way in the Bible that God feels pity for us. Because pity is no hope for nobody. God has something that he has put the right word for. Grace and forgiveness. So when people are listening to your problems, every time you're crying, Sister eh, Kaniru, oh, my problems, this and that, I'm suffering. When you have that, that's why in, in white people countries, there are people who are professional like that. They bring a broken woman in front of them. The woman just going to start playing like a radio. Va, 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 vroom. That's what they call them therapist, psychologist, and a, a whatever they call, a confidant, people you can trust. They are people, who, it's even a job. 
It's even a job. So please, don't be open like that. Cover your life. You don't know the people in this Zoom. You came to this Zoom for the first time. Everybody who moves with the Holy Spirit, use wisdom. It's not all of us here that are saying Jesus, Jesus, and we're with Jesus. When I enter Zoom, straight away you want to start. I tell a lot of women, when you come to this Zoom, keep your problems to yourself. If you are scared, mute your microphone. Say them out loud to God, not to man. Because this is how they are winning you, the spiritual fathers. They are coming in Zooms. They hear women like you are easily garable. You give a lot of attention to false spirits, my sister. And it's wrapping all over like you. You are like in a merry-go-round. You need to go to Jesus. Start everything afresh. God knows everything. You don't have to tell him. Hmm? You don't have to tell, I mean, the whole group. God knows everything. Be very careful, please. Be cautious. Use wisdom and knowledge, my sisters. This is why they say moving with the Holy Spirit and instruction of the Holy Spirit. You know where you end and when to speak. Please, my sisters. It's not everywhere where God wants us to speak. Hmm? Even when the, 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 the war of Jericho is coming down. You can see the way the children of the Lord move like ninjas, holy ninjas. They move left, right, center. They move one time until the Lord say you blow that trumpet. Nobody made noise until it was time to make noise. This thing we like to do, that's why our church is, is bad. When we meet in Zoom group, oh, sister, what's your problem? Oh, sister, what's your problem? So please, let's wake up in Jesus' name. So we are going to begin to pray. We don't want anybody to tell us what the Holy Spirit told about our lives. We want the Holy Spirit to also tell us ourselves about our lives. If it's you, and it's your life. Before, if God is going to tell another man, he has also given you grace. He should also tell you. He's not a God of confusion. Not every time. God, I heard from God. God from this side. God from that. Kind. God, God from this. God from God. And that's why you are moving with these spirits. When you meet people, you start talking. Me, the God I serve, I'm telling you, God has got much, he's got so much wisdom. I used to be excited, open mouth like toilet. Anyhow, blah, 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 blah. The Lord lend me. Lend me. Yes, so. Don't even know that we have monetary spirit in the Zoom right now, but let the monetary spirit stay. We already know that they've been here a long, long time ago. We love them. We want them to know that we said the true living God. Remember? So we are going to begin to pray. And our prayer, our cry is that God. Lay the Holy Spirit upon me. Lead me by with the Holy Spirit. In my marriage, my children, my home, in every aspect and area of my life, my finances, my friendships and my relationships. Lead me, Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit will never make mistake and never shoot wrong. So let's all begin to pray. Those of you who want to mute your microphone, if your, your microphone is giving sound, mute it but if you're going to be praying you are all allowed to have microphone on as long as you have no background noise because some people and there are people who can be spiritually praying and they are okay with the noise i can be like that but i also know that there are people that when they are praying any noise that comes in it takes them off the focus what they were praying they lose concentration we all are different and god is gracious enough to allow all of us to be in his presence so for the sake of others, if you have a TV, a microphone that is making noise, mute it in the background as we begin to pray. But we are all going to pray here. I'm not a pastor for anybody. I am here just like all of you. We are the same. We hold the same grace, the same power, the same blood of Jesus Christ was shedded for you and me. So we go collect that portion, our inheritance that God has given. So let's begin to pray all of us. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence this evening. We give you all the honor and the glory. We magnify you. We adore you. We worship you and we exalt your name. Lord, we thank you for your powerful liberation, for your wisdom, Lord, for your knowledge and your grace. We humble ourselves before your grace, before your holy throne as your daughters and sons, Lord. We humble ourselves to you. We lay our lives at your altar right before your feet, Lord. We surrender 
surrender ourselves to you and we seek you lord tonight father we thank you for all the grace and the mercy that you have bestowed upon our lives we thank you for all that you do for us our children our families our lives lord for everything that we have it is because of you tonight we come before your presence everything from the beginning to the end and in between it is you father who has created us it is you who has blessed us who has written our lives out it is you who knows everything about us that's why tonight we come el shaddai before your presence jehovah nisi we ask for mercy for each and everything that we have established and laid down in our own might power and will with no knowledge and with ignorance without understanding seeking you and asking the holy spirit to lead us father tonight we are seeking your mercy lord forgive us for being false witnesses and for testifying on behalf of the hospital when the hospital when the holy spirit was not there we ask for forgiveness for every time that we have allowed the spirit of destruction to manifest and work amongst us we invite you tonight king of all glory in the name of jesus christ father every person in the bible that declares of your name they saw your light and you revealed yourself in their lives lord so we know that you are able to reveal yourself in our lives tonight we come before your presence we ask for forgiveness we ask for mercy and we ask that father you purify us and sanctify us from the ways the knowledge understanding of this world lord we are asking that king of glory you may lay the holy spirit upon us father my god as women lord sometimes we just do things because they tell us what to do tonight we are here that the holy spirit is going to lead us and tell us what to do how to move and which way to go and walk jehovah nisi we bow down to you king of all glory we surrender our lives to you holy spirit of god sweet holy spirit of the living god we invite you in our lives today jehovah nisi lay the holy spirit upon our lives lord so that we may you may lead us through the voice of the holy spirit in our marriages in our children in our homes lord our finances our relationships lord in our friendships our family lord in each and everything that we do we are asking from today from tonight we invite the holy spirit of god to lead us into to lead us into the righteous path we surrender our lives right before you father our lives is like a book you know it from a up to z it's like a statement in one word to you we are coming before your presence instead of going to look for other opinions and other ways which will never even be right we seek you in truth and in spirit we are inviting you holy spirit of god to begin to take place of our heart to begin to take place of our souls to begin to take place of each and everything in us fill us up and consume us lord we do not want to be liars we do not want to be wicked people that are standing in things that are not even spiritual reveal us lord expose our eyes lord expose our eyes to the light lord unveil us lord unveil and reveal the light of your growth of your goodness your righteousness and salvation through the holy spirit and the word of god reveal uh, expose us lord to the light unveil our spiritual ears our spiritual eyes let the holy spirit become our spiritual eye jehovah you are the eye that we want to see through in each and everything we do in our lives open our spiritual ears lord so that we shall be able to hear from you that we shall not be intimidated by demons and evil voices that are not of god we want to be strong lord in our faith in our relationship in knowing you we do not want money we do not want a gospel that gives money we want the things that the, the spirit of god has promised us lord for the spirit of god is greater than whatever else we can receive lay the spirit and the power of the holy spirit in in us and upon us tonight we are here before your presence confessing that lord we have done and and we have been walking in a path that the holy spirit did not lead we ask for mercy we ask that father today you take over become the voice that is loud holy spirit of god we want direction when it comes to how to sort out every problem and situation in every circumstance and situation we know that the word of god has the answer for each and everything and we know that the holy spirit of god knows everything he will lead us through the righteous path for you left the holy spirit for us father those of us who have never felt the holy spirit and have never heard of it before who have never felt it before we ask in the mighty name of jesus christ that jehovah nisi you take full total control
control. Take charge and have your way, Lord. Begin to manifest the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Let the Holy Spirit of God begin to possess and consume us, Lord. We lay our lives before your altar today. We lay our whole entire existence, Lord. Take full total control, Lord. Take charge and let your will be done. Your let down. your Holy Spirit your take charge in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we need you. We need your grace. We need your favor. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need to live by the direction and the instruction of the Holy Spirit. We need you, Lord, in each and everything that we do. Father, guide us, lead us, direct us, and help us, Lord. Help us just like you led Abraham and Sarah through the voice of the Holy Spirit. We ask, Lord, lead us the same way you led Moses, Lord, to cross the Red Sea, Lord. It did not make sense to a mere man, but in the end, you did that, Father, which is a miracle. Even up to now, generation up to generation, we are still hearing of the miracle that you did through Moses. Lord, we are asking the same way you led Moses, the same way you went through the fire with him, the same way you led him from one destination to the other. Tonight, we are here, King of Glory. Lay the Holy Spirit in us. Lay the power of the Holy Spirit upon us. Begin to let the Holy Spirit operate in us, Lord. Include us, Lord, in the things of the Spirit of God. We want and long, desire, thirst for more than nothing than the Holy Spirit of God. Let the Holy Spirit of God begin to manifest in our life, to possess us, to consume us, to guide us, to lead us, to take over us. We surrender and bow down before your presence. We long, Father, to hear from the Holy Spirit. The same way, Father, you directed, Lord, but Myers to open his eyes and see. We want to hear from the voice of the Holy Spirit. You led Moses, Father my God, to great miracles. The same way Job trusted on you and in you. Lead us, Lord. We want to hear your voice. We long and thirst and desire for your voice more than anything. We are coming out of all the chains and the patterns of saving Christ through other people and never hearing the Holy Spirit. We deny the evil power of this generation of lukewarm Christianity where everybody he just says amen and there's no discernment. We want the Holy Spirit so that we have discernment as well, so that we shall be able to know when somebody is not of God we shall descend, be descend between the light and darkness. We want the power of the Holy Spirit in us, Lord, so that the devil shall not continue misleading us to wrong righteous, to the wrong path, I mean Lord, to the wrong directions and misleading us. We seek for that power of the Holy Spirit in us, Lord, so that we can be able to discern distinguish when we can speak and when not to speak, when we can distinguish what type of wisdom and knowledge to use, for only the Holy Spirit has all the wisdom and the knowledge, for the Bible says whoever is lacking knowledge and wisdom, whether it is marriage, children, life, the Bible says that we seek you, Lord, for you have the wisdom that surpasses all man's understanding. Jehovah Nisi, lay the power of the Holy Spirit, change us as women, the way Deborah was used, Lord, by you. The way you spoke to, to, to Esther, Lord, and you used her, Lord, as a woman to change her people's destiny. And we are reading about it in the Bible. We want to be led by the power of the Holy Spirit because that's why Esther, Sarah, all these people in the Bible have been found great in your sight because every time it was the Holy Spirit leading them and it comes with great reward. We come against the gospel of prosperity for money. Lord, you give more than what money can give. We know that the Spirit of God cannot be paid nor bribed. We ask that you lay the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost in us. Let it settle in and dwell in us, Lord, so that we shall not seek for prosperity gospel, that we shall not long for you, God, because of money, but we shall long for you in every aspect and direction, that even the smallest thing that we might not understand and know what to do, we shall bring it to you because Holy Spirit, there is nothing too small or too big for you. For you are capable, sufficient enough. You are the true spirit of the living God. Alpha and Omega, tonight we are here asking. We are longing, Father. Empower us as women, Lord. For all of us know that we need to have a personal relationship with you, Lord God. For no pastor, no man shall ever speak for us, Lord. For nobody shall ever tell us or direct us well like the way the Holy Spirit will. 
will. We are inviting you, King of glory. Have your way and let your will be done over our lives. We are seeking the Holy Spirit in us. We are seeking, we are longing, we are thirsty, we are hungry, Lord. We desire, Lord. We are so tired of hearing about our lives all the time from other men. If you visit pastors, apostles, reverends, visit us, Lord, just like the way you visited the woman, the, the, the widow with the son, Lord. Visit us, Lord, the same way you visited the tax collectors that did not even call your name. Visit us, Lord, tonight. Let the Holy Spirit visit each and every one of us tonight, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit be imparted in us. Everything that has been imparted in us by men, we cancel it, Father my God, and bind it right now and disconnect our lives and our families and everything attached to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we ask that only the Holy Spirit of God impart everything that we need for each and everyone that walked by faith was never imparted by man, but imparted by the Spirit of God. Jehovah Nisi, arise and take full total control. Take charge, King of glory. Have your way right now. Begin to manifest. Begin to take over. Begin to take charge. Begin to take each and every place in our hearts, Lord. Begin to consume each and everything. All these monitoring spirits that we have accepted into our lives on our own. We are canceling every evil spirit that we have accepted knowing and unknowingly. Every dark spirit, every false spirit, every evil spirit, every spirit of manipulation, every spirit of evil. We are canceling it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. Take full total control, Jehovah Nisi. Take charge and have your way. King of all kings, we know that there is nothing impossible with you. Lay the Holy Spirit upon us, Lord. From tonight, we are receiving only the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit upon us to direct us, Father, to lead us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, King of all kings. Have your way, Jehovah Shama. Have your way, Jehovah Jireh. Have your way, Jehovah Shalom. Have your way, King of all kings. Father, lay the Holy Spirit upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you this evening and we bless your name. We bless you for your presence, for your grace and your mercy. As your sons and your daughters, we lay our lives before you, Jehovah Nisi. All of us, we are longing and only wanting to have a deep and personal relationship with you, God. Father, we ask and we pray that you may allow the Holy Spirit to visit us and to dwell in us. We make ourselves available starting from this night. Whatever it is that you require and desire from us, we shall give it, Heavenly Father. Lay the Holy Spirit upon us, King of all glory. Lay the power of the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may worship you in truth and in spirit. Lord, we bless you with thank you for your presence. We thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for all you are doing for each and every one of us, Lord. And we thank you that none of us shall be missed when it comes to you, Lord. Your grace is sufficient enough. And you, God, you see each and every one of us. It might take a long time, but you always answer. For you are a God of a covenant fulfilling promise. Lord, we want to thank you for each and every person, even the ones that will come later and watch later. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for their lives and we bless you for what you are doing in each and everyone's lives. I thank you for everybody in the Zoom and how we have all been transformed by you, Lord, not by man, Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for who you are and for all you do. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the grace that even us who have no right for inheritance of the kingdom of heaven have found an inheritance through the blood of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you. We want to worship you and we love and seek and only desire and thirst for you, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Lead us and be with us. We thank you, Lord. It is in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit that we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Glory be to Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Since we are still in a moment where we want to pray, I always tell people when we sit behind, it's nice once in a week after Zoom, we can sit and all chat. But after prayer, it's important to spend time alone. What I learned from the previous Zoom group is when you sit down to talk, the devil starts to bring idleness. He starts to bring rubbish and nonsense because you come from the Spirit of God. So he wants to take you out of that realm to put you back into the code. So when you finish praying or ministering, it's good to spend time in the presence of God so that he can fill you up again. So for me, I say good night to all of you. I'm going to close Facebook face to all of you, the Facebook people. Shalom by the will and the grace of God. I'll see you people tomorrow again. There's no specific time for the Zoom, but when I start, I'll have Facebook on and Zoom on. And then I'll also post it on the other platforms later on. May God bless all of you. And I pray that each and every one of us shall, shall have a visitation from the Holy Spirit himself that we shall feel the difference and that God is going to start transforming our lives and we shall be able to confirm ourselves without people speaking or prophesying it in our lives. Amen. Shalom everybody on Facebook.